Hey guys, Omni here. We are going to be checking out the Honest trailer for She-Hulk. Screen Junkies just launched the video earlier today, and I wanted to check it out with you guys, see where they land on the whole thing. Now, of course, they always like to take the piss out of certain situations, but I'm I'm wondering how, how far they lean into it on this one, to be honest. So I'm very, very curious to see what they have to say on it. If you haven't seen my reactions to the show, go check those out. Um, just to get it out of the way, I enjoyed it. So, I mean, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but man, I had a lot of fun despite that. Uh, but yeah, man, let's uh, strap in. You've already seen superheroes break the fourth wall. Oh, hello. Balance their law practice with beat downs. <laughs> And explore what goes on when the costumes come off. <laughs> but the MCU's newest hero is here to remind us she's been doing all of that since 1995. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of stale now, but she was first. Yeah, yeah. In all those regards, I, I, as far as I can tell. Meet Jennifer Walters, a milestone in representation for public servants who move on to more lucrative corporate gigs. Take some time. I accept. <laughs> After that time, she went full Targaryen with her cousin. She'll become She-Hulk. <laughs> A lawyer committed to greenwashing her firm's new image. But don't worry if you're not into those lawyer shows. Lawyer show. It's mostly about this beautiful rich woman's impossible quest to find a good man. Ew, just imagine if Tatiana Maslany could cover your rent and turn into a hotter version of herself. It's gross just to think about it. Hotter version of herself? Let's be real, man. Both are pretty fucking fine as hell. But yeah. He makes a very good point there, man. He's like, thinks she's a fucking perfect, perfect fucking sugar bomb. <laughs> Thrill as She-Hulk fights the half of humanity Thanos forgot to warn you about. Men. There's a hot chick over there. I'm going to go talk to it. As she's attacked by online misogynists. They're just trolls. Dating app dinguses. What a specimen. How much can you deadlift? Or those nice guys who you just know are full of it. Yes, I feel I have been rehabilitated. Emotionally, physically, metaphysically, spiritually. I see you, Tim Roth. Can't lie to me. But after hey, he turned out all right, though. Play, we finally get to meet one of the good ones. Daredevil. Hey. Pug! I'm here. Charlie Cox returns as the hero everyone wants in their hallway. <laughs> he's got the look, he's got the skills. Ugh. And the man without fear is clearly not afraid of keeping his identity secret at all. <laughs> Mr. Patilio, what kind of fuel did you use in your boosters? Uh, you're using your powers in court, bro. Chill. I have to go. Something has just uh, come up with work. Urgent legal business in the middle of the night? Across the country from your practice? I mean, sanity is to be fair, she gets... Strategy. She gets a call that very same minute. Undiagnosed PTSD. Dude, wait until the costume is off to give legal advice. It's a tell. But Jen won't Hulk smash the patriarchy alone. There's Nikki, her work bestie and yeah. actual bestie. Yeah, she's because awesome, no man. MCU has friends outside of their job. Lulu, who got screamed hmm. at by Freddy Krueger. That's true. <laughs> under the pants of the big Charlie Brown. And Titania, a superhero addicted to social media, played by a supermodel addicted to social media, who goes after supervillains addicted to social media. Oh, plus we get a little Wong as a treat. Oh. Yeah. Want a gripping legal drama that relies on the lawyer's brilliant minds and the quirks of the American court system? Better call Saul. Yes. But if you're looking for a show with more of an Ace Attorney approach... <laughs> <laughs> I honestly was thinking that whenever we were watching the show, man. The cases feel made up on the fly. You can't own magic. You can't trademark a spirit. Resolve in an instant. The defendant is absolved of all liability. I'm dismissing this case. And the judges don't give a sh Aww. Because according to the showrunner, writing a good lawyer show is hard. You couldn't have, I don't know, hired writers from like good legal shows? Just spitballing here. I mean, I, let's be real. I came here for the comedy, not like legitimate, like legal jargon. Like, I think they skirted that line just fine enough for what they're doing. If I want serious legal drama, I'll watch like a different show. Like they mentioned, Better Call Saul, man, which is a master class. Is that how it works, Your Honor? Yeah. Get out of here. 
So do what everyone else does these days and make up your mind to love or hate this show before you even see it. That isn't as bad as the review bombers made it out to be, but isn't good right, enough to you. defend in court. Because at the end of the day, I'll defend wait, it. Wait, hold up. I'll defend is this, it. Is this already the outro? What about the twerking scene? <laughs> Planet Hulk tease? No, 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 we're not done yet. I demand to talk to whoever writes this crap. No, not those idiots. I want to talk to their <laughs> boss, the YouTube algorithm. Yes, epic voice guy. Why are we ending the trailer here? Data indicates you retain more viewers when your videos are between five and seven minutes in length. Well, what if there's more to say? Viewers will just fast forward to the part with the funny names. Okay, that sucks. Put a lot of thought into everything except that part. <laughs> Anything we can do to change their minds? Be more hateful. Data indicates hate is great for views. Clearly, but we're honest trailers. If something's good, we say it's good. Mid, mid, bad, bad, etc. It's my gift and my curse. Recalculating. Have you considered trying to become a wife guy and then cheat on her with? Okay, forget it. We're done here. <laughs> Story. Single female lawyer. Oh, Thank nice. The prosecution. My best friend's hearing. Bruce Brunner. Uh. Bruh. Tiny Tim and the abominable uh. grow man. Uh. The goop troop. Hulk smash that like button. The man without shame. Hell yeah, man. Pug life. Ah, Stephon yes. Urkel. The Try Guy. <laughs> Another one. Two, two jabs in like ten seconds. Walters. And Madison is with two N's, one Y, but it's not where you think. M A D I fucking -I -D -I -I love Madison, man. M I D I. Uh, I really don't know where the Y goes. It's not where I thought. I hope we see her again. Law and Ogre, <laughs> Super Victims Unit. Dude, yes. Kudos on that all one, the man. Same way. Throw a bunch of plot and flash at the audience in the climax. No, the big showdowns are just for the movies. The show's only in an avoid outside space and time where the thing gets explained to you by a god. See, you're doing it right now. Yeah, but those are usually the penultimate episodes in which that happens. Not the finale. <laughs> that is a fair point, though. Is more of it is more of a trope of the shows, to be fair. No, well, no, all the shows up until this point, aside from Loki, has ended in a climax, uh, big old fisticuffs battle of sorts. Hmm, might be chair picking there, screen junkies. I don't know, but yeah, man, I loved it. I like it. They they were they were fair. They they were fair. I just I, it worked for me more than anybody else. I think. Um, because I just had this expectation going into it, I guess, that it was never really compromised. I got pretty much what I expected out of the show. Uh, a little less time in the courtroom than I would have expected, but everything else was pretty much on course for what I was kind of expecting out of the show, except for that ending, man. That still caught me way off guard. And it's wild, man. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Is it one of the greatest shows in the world? No. None of these Marvel shows are. But I found it extremely entertaining, and uh, yeah, man, I really do hope it gets a season two and uh, see if it can uh, continue that stride and ride high, man. I had fun with it. That was a fun one. I love, like, little bits in here, man. But people got to think, like, you know, there were, there, you know, they said to meet the one guy who's not a piece of trash. Maybe, like, when he's talking, maybe, maybe he just means, like, to date, because obviously there's her father. There was Halloway, ended up not actually being a bad guy, even though he kind of was set up to be you know, that typical corporate bad guy, but he wasn't. He was just kind of around, and he defended her whenever things came up. Pug is the bestest of boys, just not a romantic interest. Bruce, hell, Emil, everybody, all the dudes at the ranch with Emil turned out to be great. Like, this whole, like, idea that the show hates men is just, like, a narrative that People who haven't watched the show or, or literally don't care what actually happens at the show, they want to feed their own little hate fire. I'm not putting that on screen, Junkies. That's just a little tangent that kind of spun me off onto when uh, they kind of, the way they phrased it, the, the whole show's about finding the one right guy at the end, which I guess, like we said, was like maybe that was they just meant to date, but the way it was framed right after the follow up of like, the the half of the population Thanos failed to warn you about men. I was just like, no, not all of them. The show didn't really like carpet bomb like the entire male spectrum. But 
that's what the internet and certain pockets would want you to believe so they can fuel their hate money that is raining into their pockets from all the dumb people that cannot think for themselves. <laughs> anyway, guys, what did you think of the show? I, I, I enjoyed it more than most, I think, but I, uh, I understand the grievances a lot of people have with it that are reasonable and not buried within some fragility and infantile like rage monster machine that's uh riling people up without being able to think for themselves but anyway that's a whole other thing because honestly let's be real that is a lot of the vitriol around the show is that i've talked to plenty of people who it just didn't work for them and that's fine they had reasonable reasons for not liking it especially when it comes to humor man humor doesn't is as subject way more subjective than most things Comedy and just general sense of humor is something that is always different from person to person. A lot of people didn't find it funny. A lot of people couldn't get invested in the story and the characters and all that stuff. I get that. I totally respect that. But, like, when you look at a lot of the very vocal complaints flooding around, it's not really backed up with anything outside of hate that I just don't tolerate, man. Or respect. That all said... Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Feel free to join us in our Discord. We talk about it there as well. Links to that on my social description box below. Follow me in each and every one of those. Before we go, I want to shout out our channel editors. Manny Sheriff, Philly Vane, Yori Coruscant, Margaret Grace, Melita, Robert Angriano, Raven McCann, Stannis Alive, Jeffrey Hale, and MSF for all. Thank you guys so much for continued support. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.